Now you might be thinking by now, it would be beneath me to milk the algorithm, to continue to feed it. You would think that I wouldn't lower myself or lower my standards to appease this machine that sort of governs what goes on in this website. And I would tell you, you're wrong, bitch. We could say that now. <laughs> we could say shit too. Shitty bitch. Listen here, all you, whatever. You know the deal, and if you don't, welcome to your first episode of Out of Pocket TikToks. The general vibe of this video is I'm gonna watch some TikToks. This is gonna be an opportunity for you to see a bunch of TikToks that aren't on your For You page, but they probably are because, let's face it, this algorithm just serves all 70 trillion of us the same fucking nine TikToks every week, and that is the definition of our personality on a day-to-day -day basis. My production assistant puts this list together, and the goal is to maybe get me to have some kind of reaction. You know, maybe I might, <laughs> I might cringe, whoa, or I might watch something and go, Oh, that's nasty. Either way, it's kind of a fun exercise to see what my tolerance is for media these days. So let's get busy. Is it basically? First on the list, this one is titled, You Having Fun? I think we're gonna have some fun. You having fun? You having fun, Prata? Yes. You having fun? You having fun, Prata? <laughs> yes. I don't know what branch of the military lets you kill time on a VR headset, but I would imagine maybe this is the close to... I don't know what branch of the military lets you kill time on a VR headset, but judging by what's going on in this room, this may be the most, I don't know, action this dude gets his entire military career. Maybe he'll get honorable discharge after this one. That's right, man. That's why they pay me. That's why they pay me for jokes like that. When you don't have to ask if he'd love you as a worm because you're already a wheelie. Oh. I don't mean to be that guy, but what do worms and wheelies have in common? Next. This one is captioned, scared the shit out of me. I'm still trying to figure out if the camera glitched out or something pushed my baby. Oh yeah, I like this. This has been a hot button on TikTok lately. Spooky stuff. I guess it is October. Is it? No, it's not. I am dumb. I'm still trying to figure out if the camera glitched or something <clears throat> pushed my baby. It's obvious, man. It's very clear. <laughs> very obvious what happened there. Bloody Mary choke slammed your baby into the mat. Now, as someone who used to edit all of his own videos, I know there was a time where Noah didn't have to do that, but even Noah will tell you the frame jump here is very obvious. Look at this. Person sitting on the bed goes from, I think I might have to pee still to I have peed. The, the relaxed nature of the upper back gives it all away. Matter of fact, they're relaxed because they're the ones that have flatlined the baby into the crib, and now they know this baby will finally go to sleep. And with that in mind, maybe now's a good time to thank the sponsor of this video, BetterHelp. If you feel like there's something interfering with your happiness, or maybe your ability to achieve your own goals, then maybe BetterHelp can assist you with that. They essentially want to help you assess your needs and match you with a professional licensed therapist and potentially help you shorten the process of discovering a therapist and get you communicating with someone in under 48 hours. BetterHelp is not a crisis line and it is not self-help, it is professional therapy done securely online. There's a broad range of expertises available in BetterHelp's network. They got over 20,000 therapists and uh, they may have something that is not locally available in your area. And of course, doing this over the internet makes the service available worldwide so you can log into your account anytime and send a message to whatever therapist you are matched with. The goal is to get you thoughtful and timely responses and give you the ability to schedule weekly video or phone uh, sessions so you don't ever have to sit in a waiting room kind of like you normally would with traditional therapy. Essentially BetterHelp, they 
just want to help facilitate a great therapeutic match uh, and they make it easy to change therapists if you know you think you need that they make it more affordable than offline traditional therapy and financial aid is available uh, so if you think that can help you start living a better life they want to help you with that today so if that piques your interest, visit betterhelp.com slash Noel Miller. Again, that's betterhelp.com slash Noel Miller. Uh, right now, they're giving you 10% off your first month if you use my link. So again, check that out if that speaks to you. And now let's get back to these babies getting slammed into a crib. <laughs> All right, this one is called God Don't Play. Awkward Sermon Points, Part 12. Awkward Sermon Points, Part 12. And we were outside one day, youth group, and uh, he was just, just trying to push my buttons. And he was just, you know, kind of not taking the Lord serious. And I walked over to him, and I went, bam! I punched him in the chest as hard as I, I crumpled the kid. I just crumpled him. Classic. That's the Knights of Templar way. That's the good old-fashioned therapy. Got to be faster than that. First kid with the trumpet knew what was going on. That was not even a trumpet. That's, um, uh, what is it? It's, it's a long handle M4. That's not fair. They're carrying a physical Pro Tools library onto a field, and, and you're expecting them to fist bump you in a timely manner. That's just, you're not playing fair. You know what? I'm going to mark that one out of pocket. It's not nice. Face went right in the palm. Okay, here we go. For the most tasteless popcorn, best love goes to. Yes, those are fog machines inside. Oh. Nope. Nope. I'm keeping my career. Thank you. Watch his knee on the left. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. I missed it. Maybe trigger on <laughs> You have got to blur that. Oh, he went full ostrich. Oh my goodness. Oh, his kneecap looks like uh, is it a beluga whale? The one with the mega mind? Whatever it is, it looks bad. Yikes. Just want to take this moment to tell my production assistant, Alex, congratulations. That was very out of pocket. So unnecessary. How it should sound when I tell people I lost my legs to my biological parents' family suit. Nope. No. Bombs? That one's out. Oh, here we go. Long caption. Picture it. April 2020. Quarantine blues have set in. Your boo surprises you with a trip to Disney. Ears and all. Okay. Are you fucking kidding me? Innovative, man. Innovative. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, A plus for effort, but if this is Splash Mountain, man, I mean, he should have, he should have reached back and had a bucket of water and just dumped it on her head. That would have taken this to an out of pocket level. This is just nice. This is just loving. He should have hit her with an NFL celebration. Just. You know, entire Gatorade jug, water over the head, bam, drenched. Instead, we got this fucking boring, wholesome shit. <laughs> All right, this one is just captured, bro, ain't no way, and it has the action in this video could result in serious injury, which means you know it's good. That's not funny. Stop laughing. Stop laughing at a child throwing a bus seat out of the window. Stop laughing while we play this picture in picture while a child takes an entire bus seat and throws it out of a window. That's not funny. You're a grown ass adult laughing at a kid throwing a whole bus seat out of a window. You think it's funny when a kid takes a bus seat and sends it out the window? 
like a box of fries at In-N-Out. You think that's funny? Because I do too. This is what happens when a dude and his wife try to fight. Nah. Nah. Nope. When I actually leave my cell, okay? <laughs> you know, whenever I see these prison TikToks, I always think, these people look very human. And they, they seem very normal. And it, you wonder what, what happened to put them in that place. And I just get these weird feelings like, am I just creating like a a pseudo bond with someone who did some like horrible shit i mean you just never know right <laughs> you never know this guy could be in there because you know he's growing ketamine in portland before it was legal or maybe he tried to fight some dude and his wife i mean you just you don't know you don't know oh i saw this one but i'll let it rip <laughs> see the patience on that man he just leaned over the balcony and thought about it he thought about it. That's self-control. You know, his left hand, out of reaction, wanted to grab that kid by the ankles. He just leaned over the balcony and thought about it. That is going to be a brutal call. I don't even know if you can get money back for that. I don't know if kid hitting you in the nuts while transporting TV over balcony is part of any insurance package. Girl on the left is so genuinely happy, it's adorable. Okay, this, this here doesn't suggest out-of-pocket to me, but we'll see. Oh, okay. Yep, it's that part. <laughs> this is how people look on hot ones after they eat the last wing with all that milk. It just give it to me, man. I want to bathe in it. Send me to the river sticks full of milk. When you thought you pulled, but no, you didn't. <laughs> oh, this uh, this has to be this has to be in the UK somewhere. This the everything about this looks so English. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Scraping morsels. Scraping morsels. God forbid you are ever holding some girl's hand. God forbid any of you are hold, ever holding anyone's hand while they speak into the, the neck. The nape? Is this the nape? The nape is the back, the nape, the nuts, whatever. It's same difference at this point. God forbid you are ever holding someone's hand while they're talking to someone else's nuts in the club. Mm. Mm. Not so out of pocket, but rough. Maybe we have to start a new series damn bro that is rough this caption is already telling me a lot fresno and pitbull concert if you're from california you know this is gonna be something Wow, that was wholesome, but in an entertaining way. That was a good movie right there. We all felt her pain. We all thought that was going somewhere bad. And to know that she's all right by the end of this, now we can all laugh. Man's a menace. My man didn't even get a handshake in the end. Okay. <laughs> I know the vibe. I know that feel. I know that feel when you get dunked on by a nine-year-old in Rocket League and you're like, how the fuck am I doing? Oh. <laughs> sports. Live sports. If you saw one of my shows recently, you know how I feel about live sports. By the way, I'm doing a couple more shows coming up. I got a show coming up in Brea, California. So you should come see me there, amongst other places. But yeah, let's uh, let's strap in for this. Oh, 
Catcher number 30. Classy. We categorize spinning in the mouth as second base or third base. Oh, I'm getting carried away. Let's move on. On a date, kind of nervous. Kind of nervous. This looks so good. Damn. Spit on it. On a date, <laughs> kind of nervous. Funny he should say that. I think the girl he's looking for was in the last TikTok. <laughs> Spit on it. We can definitely add that one to the list. That's definitely number four or whatever I'm at. Out of pocket. <laughs> Very out of pocket. Spit on it. That is crazy. <laughs> These people in front of us were going at it. Can't play that. Nope. That's another nope right there. Nope. Nope. Number seven. Jesus, bro. All right. This one's called Epic Trick Shot. Yes, sir. <laughs> I felt that. Some people are going to call that out of pocket because it's rude. Not for me, but maybe for you all at home. Nope. N see, yeah. Uh, nah, like, I'm not even going to press play because I already know what she's going to do is out of pocket. We can just go ahead and mark it. Nobody this age, you know, just given what they've lived through, they never really have anything good to say. <laughs> Maybe that's oversimplifying it. You know, maybe I'm not really accounting for all the old people in the world, but specifically this old person, I don't have a ton of faith that this goes anywhere really positive. So yeah, we just go ahead, mark it. Old lady is definitely out of pocket. Now I'm just looking at this frame and if this kid's face goes into the birthday cake. Yay! that damn ghost always taking these babies and just throwing them down they just can't get away well i think that's gonna do it i hope you enjoyed this very riveting episode of out of pocket tiktoks 4 you can bet i will be doing this all the way until episode algorithm doesn't like it anymore so until then i'll see you very soon with another video later hey, just play, man, I had to switch it up. Yeah, might lose a few, ask me if I give a fuck yeah.